Well, fine, good afternoon all. This is Patricia and I am traveling for history. I am in Bisbee, Arizona, somewhere around the Warren District. I wanted to tell you a bit about the Bisbee beginnings and the origin of the Evergreen Cemetery, which is where I am standing. Quote, Chief of Scouts, Jack Dunn, led a contingent of 15 soldiers and 25 Indian scouts under the command of Lieutenant John Rucker in an August 2, 1877 reconnaissance of the Mule Mountains in search of renegade Apaches. They camped overnight in the immediate vicinity of what is now Evergreen Cemetery. Dunn left the party the next morning to proceed up the canyon in search of water and Indian signs. He discovered a spring and an outcrop of ore in the vicinity of Castle Rock. He grub-staked George Warren, a civilian packer with the Army, to file claims on the property and share 50-50 in the discovery. Several claims were filed, but none bore the name of Jack Dunn. These would be the first mining claims filed in the Bisbee area. Disgusted with Warren, Dunn left Arizona for the comforts of a farm in Connecticut, dying there in 1891. And now the origin of Evergreen Cemetery. Quote, when the mining settlement of Bisbee sprang up, burials of primarily unmarried men were haphazard, usually taking place where they died. By 1883, a cemetery had been established in what is now Upper Brewery Gulch in the Bisbee Historic District. But public health concerns about the leaching of graves into the town's water supply arose after a series of typhoid outbreaks. The city established Evergreen Cemetery in 1912 and transported bodies to the new cemetery. The old cemetery is now City Park. It can be visited by walking up Brewery Gulch. In 2005, Evergreen Cemetery was listed on the National Register of Historic Places, one of only two cemeteries in Arizona so designated. More than 40 acres in size, it is divided into 51 distinct sections lumped together by fraternal organizations, religion, ethnicity, race, and military service. And uh, I was aiming at uh, Oof, let me just pick up my cane. This right here. Now that, in case you don't know, is called a head frame. Head frame was used over the top of a vertical mine. Both for the men to enter, you know, the miners to enter, as well as to remove the ore. The ore would have been brought up on these specially made ore carts that would go, um, that would uh, latch onto the, the, um, the pulley system. And uh, see the wheels at the very top? Oops. This is good. Oh my gosh, pain. That's good to see what I'm looking at. All right, see at the very top there? Those two wheels. Those are the wheels that have the chains, uh, the, the cable around them to pull the, uh, the, um, the um, ore carts up. The men had to climb a ladder. <laughs> that's usually the way it worked. I presume that's the way it worked here as well. I love those things. Um, you see there are stairs as well. So I can see it with my naked eye. Let's see if I can make it easier for you. Those look like uh, I can't. Those look like staircases to me. So, anyway, um, fascinating stuff. Um, I, I I love uh, mining camp stuff. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed all that neat history. Because, it, what am I doing? I'm traveling for history, right? Alrighty, and as I pan around so you can see this place. This is Patricia, and I'm traveling for history. I truly appreciate you coming with me today for this video and any other video you're watching for my visit to Bisbee, Arizona. Um, or Arizona in general. 
So until I see you again, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you soon. Bye now.